Well, friends and neighbors, the day is here. Criterion's Godzilla Showa era collection is finally here. It's on my table. It's in this box right here with this new release product display before store opens on 10-29-19. This is it. This is the collection a lot of us have been waiting for. Since the announcement of this and since uh, pictures have been coming out, there's been a lot of mixed reactions. A lot of people don't like that this is so big and it is rather big. Don't worry, I'll be doing a size comparison really soon. But uh, uh, screw it. Why are we even wasting our time with this? Let's open this thing up. Now I got my order in for this thing. Uh, pretty pretty early I uh, did not wait because I wasn't sure you know how in stock this was going to be because I haven't really bought from Criterion before the only Criterion release I actually have from Criterion is their release of House the Japanese horror movie and um, let's do this together all right one oh Two. Oh my god. Ho, ho, ho. Whoa. Okay, let's get this box out of here because this box is this box is extra problematic. Holy moly mother of Gojira. There it is. Godzilla, the Showa era films, 1954 to 1975. This is beautiful. This is truly, truly a beautiful work of art. So on the side, the spine, we can see Godzilla, the Showa era films, 1954 to 1975. The Criterion Collection, the uh, 1000th spine. And on the back, this looks like... Okay, this is beneath the plastic. It's telling you all the movies that are included in here. Eight Blu-ray special edition collector set features. We're getting trailers, interviews, commentary, high definition, new interviews, trailers, new English subtitle translations. Nice. Director's Guild of Japan interview with Ishiro Honda and director Yoshimitsu Bano. Wow. Programs detailing the creation of Godzilla's special effects plus a lavishly... Oh, man. Okay. We are going to have to... Um, yeah, we're just going to open this so i'm going to lightly yes there we are i'm very very excited for this i mean i think nearly every single godzilla fan in the world at least our side of the world has been very very excited for this because japan has been very very fortunate with their godzilla reissues on blu-ray and dvd and such so this is probably held on by that uh, weird gummy glue so this is going to peel up yep there's the gum glue Whoops. I'm going to keep this within the book. This. Oh, okay. Wow. Oh, man. Oh, man. Look at the back of that. Let me get this. Oh, man. That is just lavishly, lavishly done. So very beautiful. Oh, my God. Credits to the lovely folks at Criterion for getting so many amazing artists to do the artwork for this. And like I said before, this, you know, comes off. It's one-sided. I'm going to keep this uh, with this. Okay, so all of these page... Oh, what? Yo. Yo, yo. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I need to... Uh move my camera back <laughs> like all the way holy shit wow now i know a lot of people were complaining just about the sheer size of this thing but hey man this is godzilla you gotta go big and criterion went really really big on the artwork i mean get a load of that oh man the detail the colors nothing but respect to you criterion okay we got a read up by steve rifle oh boy yeah Oh boy, it's a lot to read up. Okay, and then we make our way to the first one, Gojira, or Godzilla. Very, very, very nice. Oh man, this artwork, this artwork, this freaking artwork, man. Holy moly, so very well done. Oh man, Mothra versus Godzilla, that artwork is fantastic. I saw a lot of people commenting, you know, this is for the Showa era. Why are there so many designs of Godzilla on this thing? And even on the cover, you know, a Godzilla design that wasn't in the Showa era. I saw one response saying, well, it's from the 90s. It's the most recognized design of Godzilla right now. So, yeah, you know what? I can agree with that. I personally don't mind just having this collection and all of these movies together on one gigantic set. Like, that's more than enough for me. Holy crap, look at that. Oh, my very first Godzilla movie. Godzilla vs. the Sea Monster, Happy Raw Terror of the Deep. So good. Oh, and look at little Minya there, that little troglodyte. 
<laughs> oh man. Even these artists managed to make Minya look awesome. This is by far my favorite. Destroy all monsters. This looks so good. And did I mention uh, the quality of these pages? It's really, really good. They're not majorly flimsy. It's like photograph paper almost. Good stuff. And I love like the further you look up, you see Godzilla and Gabra and everything. Oh man, Criterion, you treating us too well. Oof. This looks fantastic. I know I went over this in the reveal video, but... <laughs> Dude, not fawning over something new and Godzilla related is just, it, it is not in my physical makeup. Not possible. Ooh, Godzilla versus Gigan. Oh, I love the minimalistic colors on this thing. And Gigan looks fucking amazing. Wow. Oh, mm, Godzilla versus Megalon. Ah, I love the overly anime style of Jet Jaguar, Gigan, and Megalon that they have over here. So, so, so cool. And I love that Godzilla looks like a giant mushroom cloud. That's awesome. Like, <laughs> and this. Wowzers, 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 wowzers. The detail and the color on Mecha Godzilla and King Caesar. And Godzilla's crotch or butt area, wherever that is. Very, very well done. Very beautifully done artwork here. And then the last one, Terror of Mechagodzilla. I love the words over here. The ba ba bitty ga And you got all the people down here like, holy crap, look at all that shit. Like, I don't care what you say. This is so cool. Love the design, love the colors. Again, I love the little effects around all of them. So, so, so very cool. And then over here, on the opposite end, we've got about the transfers, special thanks, acknowledgements, production credits. And then over here, we have the discs. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. You know what? Let's take a close look at some of these. That's, you know what? How about we take a close look at these discs before... I get into the size comparison. Okay, so these are pretty basic discs. They're just going to say Godzilla, the Showa era films, Godzilla, Criterion Collection, disc one. And I really do like how this is like a book. I think that's really, really cool. Godzilla raids again and King Kong versus Godzilla, disc two. It's gonna be the same thing over and over again, just different colors. But you know, a nice little detail. I like that it says one over here, one on the disc, two over here, two on the disc, six, you know, five. I think that's really, really cool. Yeah, let's get a wide shot of that. Just very, very pretty looking. I can't wait to start watching all these movies again. I, I'm actually very, very excited. But now that we've seen the front, the back, the middle, and the end, let's get into the size comparison. Here is the Godzilla Showa era films Criterion Collection next to the 50th anniversary versions of Son of Godzilla and Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla. Here is the Criterion Godzilla Collection next to the Godzilla King of the Monsters Best Buy exclusive Steelbook and the NECA Godzilla KOTM Atomic Blast figure. And here is the Showa era collection next to three of my favorite Showa era Bandai Godzilla figures. Yes, indeed, this is going to be a hard thing to store in some areas, but with something as amazing looking as this, I wouldn't want this displayed like a normal DVD. I'd want this out in the open. This is colorful. This is eye-catching. People are going to want to come over and look at it. This is a collection centerpiece. This isn't something that should just be thrown in with your DVD collection or anything like that. So I am fully in support of the size and just the magnitude of this huge collection. And I tip my hat to Criterion. We finally got it. It's finally been done. We have all the Showa era films on Blu-ray. Granted, we don't have every single version of those movies, but I'm not being picky here. I am just so over the moon for this collection, for the packaging, for everything that was included in this. Godzilla, he's the king of monsters, and the king of monsters deserves a gigantic collection just like this. Now, this thing is going to be available on Amazon. It's going to be available in Target. The prices are already getting slashed down from its normal... 170 slash 180 price range. So I suggest getting yourself some Godzilla because this is the original series. This is what kicked off everything. And I mean, just look at this thing. It's beautiful. Like I need 
Ugh. I cannot wait to marathon the entire Showa era this weekend and week. It's going to be a grand old time. A little bit of a blank week next week because I'm going to be preparing for Godzilla season, which starts in November, clearly. So until then, until next time, I will see you all then and there. Thanks for watching. If you would like to help support this channel, why not check out my Patreon, which will be linked at the end of the video and in the description below. I've got social media in the description below as well. Anything and all, see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Greatly appreciate. It. See you soon, and may Screonk be with you all.